Hello, everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 29, the popular opinion show, as always. Another week, a good week so far. Actually, a good start to the week for Manchester United. Yep, with a brilliant win the other day. Yes, as usual, I've got my boys with me, of course. We've got Amok and we've got Jex. What are you saying, Amok, today, fam? Bye. Celebration day, isn't it? Yes, bro. Yeah. Celebration. The last time we scored that was in the 90s, I think 20 something, 25 years, 24 years ago. Mm -hmm. 28 years. So for me, years, like, I was not like, I didn't even know football like that. So for me to see that happen yesterday, come on, man. It's beautiful. Trust me. And Jess, what you say, fam? How are you? Bro, for the first time, I got that only juice. Trust me. The <laughs> only juice. <laughs> I'm feeling Ollie good. Juice. Ollie juice. After yesterday's win, I'm feeling very ecstatic. I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. Every week, though, we lost one, we drew one, and mm -hmm. we won one. So, mm -hmm. But for now, I'm happy. Definitely. I hope you're proud. I'm in a good mood, man, after that good win, man. How can you not be in a good mood? Unless you're an Arsenal fan, then you won't be in a good mood. But guys, as always, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share to your friends, people you like, people you don't like. Remember, women, always share to your ex and piss them off, but make sure they don't at me. Anyway, guys, of course, if you are new to the channel, this is a channel, this is a show where we discuss the popular latest debates that's going around Manchester United. Of course, this week we'll be talking about the wonderful win against Southampton, that 9-0 fashion, that 9-0 rape. Also, the game against Arsenal briefly, because you know, it was a shit match at the end of the day. And we'll look at the racial abuse of Anthony Martial to Sanabe and also Marcus Rashford. And of course, my favourite part of the show, Premier League Roundup, Game of the Week, guys. And then we, we divert straight into the match preview against Everton and also the FA, FA Cup match against West Ham. Let's start us straight that match against Southampton, that, that match where Southampton got sexed up if you watch my match reaction. Parental advisory, explicit shit yesterday. Your children were not allowed to watch that match yesterday. It was too much. It was rape. And I can't believe we all had to witness someone get raped yesterday. It was not nice, you know, especially if it was Raf Hassan Hussam. It wasn't nice. But guys, <clears throat> wonderful win. Good performance from the guys after a man got sent off. You know, I'm going to start off with you, Amok, man. How are you feeling about that match, man? Like, first of all, I just want to say big up to that young youth, man. I, I hope know. this don't destroy his, like, mindset. He's just a young youth. Yo, that like, was what his debut. He missed like Davy as well. Like, mm. no, like it's just I hope this like they got players around them that can actually talk to him and let him understand that this not this is not the end of the road. Because it might look like it if he don't work hard towards like convincing his manager to give him another chance. But uh, like big up to him. I hope he like he can go through this. But of course, you see, I am what Manchester kit for like two weeks now, but I had to put it on from. It feels good to be a United fan right now. 9-0, it gets no better than that. Like, it gets no better than that. The game itself, mm -hmm. like, people should watch everyone's fight a match reaction. He said it all in that match reaction. It was just the game itself. This is the first time I've seen Manchester play from the start to the end. We did not take a foot off the, like, the gas pedal. We it just was no pressing. mercy. I can tell you for like, with no mercy. Whoa. It's beautiful. Like, the way they played, the reaction from the players yesterday, like, we felt like when he done the substitution at halftime, I felt like he was just going to pay respect to Southampton, but it was no respect. It wasn't no respect. Every single player turned top. Like, now they deserve to call Manchester United players. Like, it's beautiful to be a Manchester United fan right now. I'm just gassed over the march. Well done to players. Like, they did excellent. What about you, Jax, man? How you feeling about that game yesterday, man? That victory, man? Bro, <clears throat> I was surprised. Like the rest of us fans, who was expecting nine goals? None of who us. Who was expecting nine goals? None of us. For me, the first half, Luke Shaw, 
What's my man eating? Has Luke Shaw changed his diet? No, he has definitely has. Religious man. Man? Is yes. he praying to God? What's happening? He's been saved. So, He's been touched by the Holy Spirit now. I'm seeing Luke Shaw 2.0 at the moment. The, the... Do you know what it is? Mm-hmm. He broke his leg maybe mm-hmm. 18 months ago. Yes? For me? Yep. He wasn't brave. There were certain times when he wasn't strong in a tackle or he wasn't energetic and going forward. and He just wasn't the same Luke Shaw. But this season, we're seeing a different guy. It's amazing to see him. For me, if he had stayed on the pitch, he might have been man of the match. Same with Cavani. Cavani busted mm, yesterday. Definitely. That first 45 minutes. He showed the young Gs how to play up front, how to be a number nine, you know? He was exceptional. Um, we bullied them. The fact that Maguire got a yellow card in the opposition box showed you how much we were attacking them. Both Maguire and Lindelof were defensive midfielders yesterday. They were playing <laughs> past the halfway line, three right? yards away from Southampton's goal. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wow, we one are on top of them. You know, one Basaka was just excellent. Trust me. That, that even though that ball was offside, it would have counted. But that tackle. That's oh, something. when he came with his right foot. Yep. Brilliant tackle. That ta- Brilliant. Every single player put in those shifts yesterday. Now you calling names individually. I'm going through them and I'm like, wow. Like, well, that's all I can say, wow. Nah, man. I'm but- impressed also with McSauce, you know. Scott uh. McSauce, for me, was my man of the match. Simply yeah. because he played the whole game. But Ooh. also, he scored a goal. Mm-hmm. And he was... He brought something different to the midfield yesterday. Fred, for me, wasn't all that, you know. Only hey. because... Why is that? Why do, you, why do you think that? Because to me, I thought he did well, especially when he went to left back. He was doing a thing. No. He was when he went to left back, I don't think he did a thing. Oh, and in the guess. first half, mm-hmm. I need to see Fred not go past maybe 20 yards past the halfway line. He needs to sit back. <laughs> Going forward, this guy cannot shoot. It's I don't know. Like that guy's got two left to take that. It's hard. Because remember... He's one of them players that like going forward. He likes going to attack. So he's always going to get that from Fred. But like, he wasn't really, he, he, he was good too. That second half, but like the last 20 minutes. He wasn't like, bad, of course. Comparing him to Luke Shaw would be a bit harsh on him because he's not. Like, you, you touched on Cavani. You touched mm. on Cavani. Cavani. Like, he caught Rashford. Even Mattel came in, he didn't smell that much. You know but why he's he not smiling, think. bro. Why should he smile? Who's he's got, who's like, who's no, he's no, smiling right now? I'm, I'm pissed off. No, no, no. I like, like, get what he's saying. Like, yeah. Yeah. But it's just, he didn't smile. After two goals, he didn't smile. And that's enough. I hope this savage musician put himself into you mm. to work out for him. Because we need yes. to see more goals from Rash. Uh, from Rash. And took both of his goals yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's typical striker goals. That's typical striker goal. The first one was even hard to score. Mm-hmm. The second one got defenders among him, a bit next to him. The way he controlled the ball, it was excellent. I want to see more from him. What really upset with me with Marshall is that he could have got a hat trick with that chip, that dink. Oh, I was so disappointed. I was like, oh, Marshall. Yeah, for me, I was like, that's it. That's not his fault. Pulse. That's not his fault. Also whip it, no? Almost. Almost. No, he made the right decision, though, to, to um, almost. It almost. Over it was a classy finish. But almost. with Dukes. Luke Skywalker, you know, like I said before, the force is with him, Jex. That's the reason why he's changed, you know. He he found Obi-Wan Kenobi, gave him the lightsaber, and now he's all about this. But he's attacking man's, like, going forward, man. Now, it was an excellent performance by Luke Shaw, man. That 45 minutes, I, he was my man in the match, but he didn't play the full 90 minutes, as I said in my match reaction. It was Scott McSauce, man, because McSauce, I said, he brought something different to the game. And what, so one thing about McSauce is obviously you always want to try hard. The passion is always going to be there. And the goal as well. And he always pops in and scores a goal, you know, at times. So I, that's the reason why he was mad man in the match, man. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about wan performance, man. It's nice to see wan scoring goals and crossing, bruv. You know what I mean? Like We all know what he can do defensively. For me, he's probably the best defensive right back. Uh, he's the best right back in the Premier League, league man. Come but on, bro. Worldwide, defensively, he's up there. Mm. We've all said that going forward, he needs to improve. Mm-hmm. But I feel like yesterday, he showed us what he could potentially do going forward. His crosses were much better yesterday. 
Yeah, but the one thing about what I'm saying, I have to say that my man's always off his feet, off balance when he does the crosses and all that stuff. Have you clocked? <laughs> like they say, Bambi on ice, innit? <laughs> the one thing as well that I've, I've noticed about uh, Wamba Zaka, mm-hmm. going forward, he'll go forward, he'll stop, and mm-hmm. he always pass to the side or passes it back. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing I've not really appreciated about him. But again, yesterday, he was more attacking-minded. I feel like maybe instruction from the manager to say go forward even more. And it worked out. He caught his first, uh, second goal for us. I'm very happy with his performance. Top performance from him. But yeah, quick question. But you think the thing about one second, do you think that can be coached into him? Because that um, can be coached into you to drill you to get those things right. Um, to a small extent, because you either have it or you don't. You can't coach something that's not there. But you, you can know? coach someone to cross, cross better. Better, but mm-hmm. better might not be enough. Maybe that's not in his game, but time will tell. I feel like coaching, of course, he's, will improve him. And yeah. game time, he's still young. Yeah, exactly, uh, he's young. So he can there's learn. only something coaching can do. If you have, if you can't whip it like Beckham, a coach mm-hmm. can't show you how to whip it like Beckham. You get but it? they can show you but the technique. can improve it, mm-hmm. but it will take time. What about you, oh. Amuk, man? I think he can improve on it. I definitely think he can improve on it. Like we go, we go simple example in United already. Gary Neville, he wasn't a very good passer, but yeah, he that, he developed that in his game. And when we look, when we when we lose when we lost on Beckham, he became that guy that used to whack the ball in. So I think, like we all said, he's too young. That that's a long way to go. He can improve that, but don't forget, everyone in his recent games, he's been doing well, he's been having few assists. He asked, remember he assisted, assisted um, um, what's it called, Rashford, I think, he, like, was it against Liverpool? Like, his, him going forward, been brilliant in the past few weeks. Yeah, he has so, improved like, in think, that, going forward. No, like, like, that's something I've got to say. But I hope <clears throat> it could get better than the way it is right now. I really do hope it is. Because what I'm seeing from him, if he can defend, defend it, like, like what he can do, going forward, if he can improve that little bit, I think the the um the guy from Liverpool, Trent, don't have Trent. no chance. <laughs> if Wamba Saka can improve on going forward, mm-hmm. Trent have no chance because Trent can't he'll defend himself. Lot, he'll need to improve a lot because Trent is far. That doesn't not improve a lot. He's too mm-hmm. young. We hope he can improve, but so far so good. It's been great from the players. I can't really just like like like. Say negative things about the players because I've been negative throughout this season. Now it's time for me to give them kudos. Like big up to Bomba Soccer yesterday and for the past few weeks. All Wamba Stacker needs to do is just start chilling in the trap house. So he can be whipping excursions and all that stuff. So <laughs> whipping those crosses in, bro. Whip, 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 whip. That's, that's it. Just like, just like, just like, what's his name in it? Um, Trent Alexander just whipping them in, bro. But another incident that happened yesterday, of course, the penalty incident. Marshall getting that penalty. Guys, what did you think of that, man? Was that a penalty or not? Did VAR get it wrong? Did that red card as well? Did, was it deserved? What do you think? Um, it was the right decision. Because yeah. like the boys were saying yesterday in commentary, the VAR is there mm. in case there's an obvious error in that decision. And I watched it five times and I wasn't sure. So there was no way that the penalty could have been reversed. Um, it was a very light touch on Martial. But unfortunately, the same way David Luiz at Arsenal got sent off, if you're the final man, if you foul him mm-hmm. with your fingernail, you're, that's a red card. Fair enough. You're the final man and you stopped a goal-scoring opportunity. So for me, it was a deserved red card. Um, and I'm happy that Bruno stuck it away. What did you think about that, Mamouk? What did you think about Um, I think it was a harsh red card. It would have been yellow because it's up to you, the ref, to give I have a red or, or, or yellow, like he went to view the VAR thing. Mm-hmm. I personally think it was not. I personally think it was not a penalty. I couldn't Martial see actually, the. Martial, Martial got the best out of the defender, like but like what Jake said, the law states that if you're the last man, just that simple contact, you get sent off. That's just a lot. You based on what we've seen in the Premier League itself, I felt like the referee would too, he was too harsh on him. Because we've seen worse than that, never got given, and no card got given as well. So for that to happen after they've got behind, they, they've got that someone got sent off at the second minute, 
into the game. Like, come on, I felt like you should have just, do you know what? Loud Let me use it. my personal, yeah, that I felt like the referee should have just done that, at least, because yeah. Bible was going to win the match. But you know, certain referees are dickheads, like certain people are where when they buy the book. I'm sorry, but I have to sack you or I have to send you up because by the book, you're like, nah, man, use sentiment to this, man. He could have done that, but he, at the end of the day, he had to send him off. I personally didn't see, I couldn't really see the collision, like the connection. I, I wanted the to knee, see, the knee, I had to look straight the into knee. the TV, but I saw a little bit of contact. A little the knee, bit, the knee. But I was not sure if it was contact. You know, it's just the because of the angle. But anyway, it happens, yeah. isn't it? Huh? You boys raise a good point, you know, mm -hmm. because again, I feel like the referee should be able to use discretion there. Yeah. But the letter of the law is a red card, but using your common sense is a yellow card, isn't it? So. Because he actually went to the screen and watched the thing over and over again. Mm. Like, that's for me, I feel like it was too harsh. Even the W. Lewis one was that, that was really, 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 really harsh. You know, you don't so deserve it. What's so funny was that referee when he was watching the overgun, man had to tilt his head like this to like, did you see did you see a collision like you know when you're on show, you're doing something like that? I don't know. Like it was crazy, man. But unfortunately for Southampton, they went a man down. It was a penalty. As mentioned United fans, we've it, whether it's a penalty or not, it's a penalty for us, man. We don't care. We don't care, you know. We've been done wrong. People get done wrong in life, man. You know what I mean? Isn't it? Like people get done dirty. Like, it's life, isn't it? Arsenal got done dirty twice yesterday, but it's life, isn't it, guys? Bruno Fernandes back with a goal and assist. It's been five games, man. What you guys, guys have to say about that? Thank God. I uh, know, because he's Thank been missing. God. Oh, he's been missing for a few games, you know, but he's back, back in action, and hopefully the momentum can can run up now, you know. Mm -hmm. he can go and Bruno can start getting more goals, more assists. I want to see him run it up because um. He's needed. He's shown this season that when he performs, we perform, you know? Um, so, yeah, keep it up, Bruno. More goals, more assists. But yeah, let me say something, bro. You know, when Van der Beek came, off, came on, you know, for a good 20 minutes, my man didn't touch the ball, you know? Mm, I, was was watching, I was watching Van der Beek as soon as he came on. He was making intelligent runs, making himself available for a pass, but man, they weren't passing to him. Do you not know? Did you guys notice that? Because no. I was watching him. I had to, I was like, let me see what he can do. But for a good 10, 15 minutes, he didn't pass to him. They didn't pass him. He wasn't that involved. There was a couple of times when he, he was literally just popping it back. You know Van der Beek doesn't really touch the, hold on to the ball for long. Mm. He was doing one, like he got one popping it back straight away. But he didn't wasn't really in the game yesterday. Not too much, you know? I don't know. I can't blame him for that yesterday, though. Your team winning. And... Based on whatever we did yesterday, mm -hmm. I don't think he actually got that that's involved in the match itself. Mm -hmm. It was just glimpses. But that's good enough for us because the team is winning. I just hope when he gets that actual chance to prove what he's got, like we I ain't got no doubt. Mm -hmm. I know he, he is and what he can do. But we really want to see more. But I think that's based on the manager though, because he hasn't been really been tested as a player. You know, some players get signed to club and the club test these players. Bruno came to a club. He didn't get tested. He proved himself. Mm -hmm. But most players get tested. And I think what's it called? Fernand, Bruno, um, what's it called? Um, Donny haven't been tested by Manchester yet. So Let for me, he's still got a long thing. way to go. Let me tell you one thing. Go on, Jets. Like, Do you remember yesterday? Mm -hmm. You called me before the game and you was like, why the hell are we at home and we're playing Fred and Scott together? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah, bro. Scott was playing more like a box to box yesterday. He was playing more alongside the other midfielder, you know, mm -hmm. and Fred behind. We should continue to play like that, even away from home. We've seen this season, there's no home or away. There's mm -hmm. been more away wins than home wins. True we don't need to be holding. Fred is yeah. good enough to hold. Scott, for me, is better as a box to box because he can pop off shots and he can add to goals. And uh, Van der Beek could come in and replace Scott sometimes. Instead of having two holding, let's just have one. And that gives plenty opportunity for Van der Beek to come in, up his fitness, get into the rhythm of the team, and then we can see more from him. Until then, we continue to play two holding. We're not going to see Van der Beek too much. Because Bruno Pogba is always going to be ahead of him for that number 10 role. Do you get it? 
Unless Pogba leaves, then you might have opportunity to see Van der Beek more for next True. season. Yeah. But True. it's looking a bit peak for him right now, you know. No, I don't I want him to leave. No, no, I don't see him leaving. I, I have a feeling that, that, of course, when he signed, he did say him and Oli spoke. Maybe today, this year is his integration year to understand the league, understand the rhythm of the league, because it's a new league, it's a new country. You don't know, innit? Bro, Oli, I'm sure Oli did not sign in his woodwork. <laughs> did you, did no, you definitely, watch, did definitely, you definitely. I know how it went down. Yo, man, get me grillish. No, you know what? I got someone better for you, man. <laughs> Van der Beek, man. I'm gonna sign him because he's cheaper. I he's ain't spending sell. eight million. He's, he's on sale. He's on sale. Like, 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 man's got the yellow yeah. sticker. He's got the yellow sticker on his price tag. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. Like, which did, you, did, you, did you watch Ferdinand in Football's little documentary? Definitely, that I saw it thing. Too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Send me the. Link. I, I didn't watch that, bro. Send me the link. I'll send it to you. That also. watch when I watch that, I believe hope because they play himself. He's always been vocal about how much he loves the club, how much there's something about Manchester. So if he can also sit the same, at the same time wants new challenge in life, that's him. But for me, I feel like he might stay. Mm. And mm-hmm. Van the big situation, you cannot win the Premier League with just Pogba and Bruno. You need him. We need him. You need him. Mm-hmm. So like, you cannot, because... You, we, 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 in, in this same show, we were talking about Man City, how they're using, they, they say, purpose of fraud, using these players like a false number nine in that. Why do you think that is? The whole bunch of build folders, mm-hmm. very good on the ball, that plays good. And we got Van der Beek, he's very good on the ball. And his passes, one I like one thing passes. about him. He don't hold on to, to the ball for that long. Mm-hmm. He just get the ball, watch, boom. And Actually. sometimes he, him and Bruno together, I think we got something. Because Bruno, remember, Bruno got Bruno think fast. Van der Beek is the same as that. Bob what holds on to the ball. He click, click, wants to draw people onto him so he can use his body so he can create space for you. But Van der Beek don't have to do that. They can just see. Like, hopefully, Oli, got, Oli does something with his plays because we got very good plays. He said it at the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. Oli said it himself. That we got good players. Yeah, we got good players, but do we have good coaches? That's the question I'm not gonna ask, bro. I'll be asking him. I would love to ask Oli that. Oli, you said you got good players, but do you have good coaches and a good manager? Answer my question. I won't be able to do that. Even mm-hmm. if we win the Premier League, I still think the average people that won the Premier League mm-hmm. under a under a very good club. Let's move on straight to the uh, game against Arsenal briefly, you know, because there's nothing to talk about in that game, you know. Obviously. We had a very good opportunity to beat Arsenal, you know, you know, especially in the first half, the latter stage of the first half when it was around the 30th minute, it was on top of Arsenal. And then the second half, Mikel had to change things and Arsenal get back into the game. But still, we could have beaten that Arsenal team, man. The Arsenal team was weak, man. They, they were so weak, man. They didn't have their best players. It was an opportunity for us to just capitalise on our mistakes, especially against South Sheffield. When we lost, man, and especially when we drew against Liverpool with no defenders, man. But ugh, disappointing, man. Just disappointing, guys, man. What about you guys, man? That was a dead game. I don't want to talk about that game. <laughs> um, I'm upset that Cavani didn't stick that goal. He was two yards out. Cavani had a tap in and he missed. Obviously, the ball came into him quite quickly, and I think it just hit the heel of his foot instead of his actually side foot it in. Yeah, but. I was not impressed, man. Cavani should have scored that goal. Arsenal have taken four points of us this season. I'm not happy. My Arsenal fans are trying to get onto me. It's not really <laughs> working because when we look at the league, table, it's a different story, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is so funny, you know. How can they get onto us when you look at the table like, yo, why are you getting onto me, bro? <laughs> it don't make no sense. I want to get back at them in, in May time still, when they're <laughs> out of the top four. But, um, yeah, Arsenal might have even won that game, you know. Yeah, Arsenal had a couple of good chances in the second half. I feel like a draw is quite quite deserved. But to reiterate from what I just said, I'm not happy that Arsenal have taken four points from us this season. That game was dead to me. So hopefully the next time we can play Arsenal, we can move to them because this season has not been good. What about so, you, man? Like it was disappointing. I feel like it was face of time actually. 
I called you after the match. I didn't even say nothing about the match. Do you remember? No, I called him. I called him after the match. <laughs> I actually saw a message from him. I spoke about the message. I didn't say nothing about the match. <laughs> what 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 can you say? Like for me, Arsenal deserve to win the match. Because they played very good without the key players. We had everyone. We True just that. couldn't. Like you guys said that a couple of months ago, we just don't capitalize on people, on teams. It's really sad that we got to go through that. We did not capitalize against Liverpool. Definitely. We should have both games. Like all like we've dominated Liverpool recently. They don't do that good against us, especially this season. Like, but a draw for me is good enough that we losing to Arsenal would have been worse because that means they got they can say whatever they want to say which means we didn't play with Saka um, 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 Aubameyang but was too wacky lot yeah trust me True. you know I said it would have been all over Twitter and everything obviously people call it the Twitter classical bro you get me the social media guys because we got the, we both got a huge fan base and we like to talk trash amongst each other you know I me, mean? guys. Let us know exactly what you thought of the match against Manchester United versus Southampton. Also, the game against Arsenal. Let let me know who your man in the match was as well. You don't give the match, of course. Of course, guys. We're gonna move on to what's happened last week. The racial abuse that happened to our players, especially after the Sheffield United match to Santa Bay, of course, conceding that own goal, which wasn't his fault, but it had to be him. Overnight, um, receiving extreme racist abuse from fans. I wouldn't particularly say that it's from our fans. It could be from anyone that feels like they're racist and they want to jump on the whole bandwagon. It could be 14-year-old white boys. You know how they are, you know, abusing. It could be anyone. I wouldn't necessarily say it's Manchester United fans. But if it is Manchester United fans as well, you make me sick. Marcus Rashford as well received some abuse after the draw against Arsenal, and also Martial as well. Martial's wife has always receiving death threats, which was not good, you know. Of course, Martial's wife is white, so it made them even more angry, you know, to send her death threats, like, why are you with, the, why are you with that so-called N-word, monkey face, blah, 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 blah. That's what happened to her. But guys, man, how do you feel about that, man? Another week of racist incidents again, man. When will it stop? Do you know what, P? I won't mm. stop mm -hmm. you. You never will. Mm. Won't stop until these people can no longer be anonymous. For me, it's the responsibility of these social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let someone open an account in this day and age without authenticating their account? There's so mm -hmm. many different apps. You need to show evidence of where you live. Maybe take a picture of your passport. Your driving license, exactly. something in order to allow you to be on their platform. So for me, the fact that this is still going on simply shows me that the likes of Facebook, Instagram, all these companies, that are billion pound companies, billion mm -hmm. dollar companies, don't give a damn because they could have done something time ago. Why in 2021 can I log onto the internet as somebody unknown, and yeah. post no mm -hmm. display picture. No, no display <laughs> picture. Nothing coming back to me. Zero posts. <laughs> just follow it. Just that one something, you know? How bad is that? So bad. In fact, of the actual racism that's come out from these despicable human beings, I think Rashford done the perfect thing. He didn't even retweet or screenshot what the person said. Mm -hmm. I think that's giving that person zero power. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't matter what these idiots, pathetic idiots are saying. We need to crack on, we need to focus on our game, and we also need the FA, the regulatory body, to take a real stance on this. We need black people in the FA so that they can come up with a logical solution to this. Remember what well, I said to you, Jake, remember? My ideal punishment is if you racially abuse someone, you will have to feed a poor family from Africa for the rest of your life. And that day, it will hurt them. When you hurt someone's pocket, you'll think twice, you'll be like, you, should I, should I really say this? Do I really want to feed someone's family for the rest of my life? Then they won't do it again. 
Honestly. Well, it's a painful situation. Mm. I can't even laugh too much around this, you know, because mm. it doesn't even pain me anymore because it keeps happening. It's just irritating. I don't understand why the people with power don't do more. Well, I do understand why they don't do more. Let me know. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care. It's and it's a, that's my last point on this, or last two points. Mm. Social media need to take responsibility and accountability. Start naming and shaming these idiots. Start giving us evidence and giving it to the police and saying, this is the person that did it, go find them. Because remember, Zaha got abused just last month or two months ago. Exactly. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, so do you know what I'm saying? It's down to the social media and it's down to the powers above. We need to see more black and Asian faces in decision-making positions mm -hmm. so that we can put forward better punishments because the punishments coming from this, bruv, it's not working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 2021 and it's still happening, you know? It doesn't affect me too much because I know these words from idiots can't do anything to me or my people, you get it? Mm. But we need more from the FA. We need more from the social media platforms. I mean, what's your take on this, bro? I was watching, um, I think it was, I can't remember what channel. It's either Super Spot or it was, but it was Ian Wright. He just got frustrated. Eh? The police actually contacted him based on this particular situation, this race, this racial situation that's going on. And you know, he's one of the black figures in the football lane in this country mm -hmm. that we know that got voiced. You remember when he was younger, he was the first person that made this show about black kids in jail. Yeah, why they go jail. You remember that. Remember you remember that. that. Yeah, remember that. So like, this ain't the first time, like we, this is something we used to. Every black person that lives in the West have faced a form of racial abuse. Every single black person, that's something that I believe every single black person can say. And it's just sad to see people who's entertaining you. We all, before this, during the show, we were talking about we won 9 1 or uh, 9 0, right? The excitement and everything. This, this, these same fans that do what they did are still excited. Celebrate! Oh, we won, we won nine nil. We got history back. But when these same players get packed in or lose the match or draw a match against a good clubs, you want to racial abuse them? For me, Jack said it. Oh, it's the social media companies. They refuse to give police these people um details. Because they say it's was it whatever, whatever. I don't know what they did with them in the police, but mm -hmm. they refused to work with the police. That's why people go on social media and say whatever they want to say and do whatever they want to do. The worst they can do is just get the page blocked. Mm -hmm. After that, what else? What makes you think that person, like Jack said before, before you apply for these things, show a form of identification that makes you legal to be on these platforms. So if anything comes on from your account, you're liable for it. 100, bro. But it's just sad that it's 2021. We are still going through this. We got kids. Are they going to see the same thing? This isn't about football. This is just about us. Like you said, and just about the black race. It's every other race. Thank we you. all need to come together. Mm -hmm. It's something that we can work on. And let me say one thing. Yeah. The FA in this country mm -hmm. cannot have 90% of the staff that works for them. He's been a white person, white people. Where did you get that statistic black. from? Did you say 90%? Uh, no, I'm just saying, I'm just assuming. Oh, no, no, no. Just assume that is 99%. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's <laughs> <assuming. Huge problem. laughs> like, I'm just assuming 90% of them are white people, right? You cannot make decisions based on our color and other race mm -hmm. without us being involved in it. No, not even that. Without mm -hmm. not understanding how they feel or being that particular no. person. Because you know, living their life. Like, we need more we need more people of color in these bodies. This is something we talked like a few months ago. The referees, coaches, 
We need more people of color that, go, that they get, need to give people opportunity, not just once in the blue moon. We don't want to say names, but we see people just left, they stopped playing football like two years ago, straight into management. But the, the, the black brothers, the Asian brothers, the Spanish brothers are not getting these opportunities. They're being told that, like, oh, you don't have enough experience. Stuff right. like that. But so if the bloggers, the newspapers, the media are not doing anything about it, what makes you think the social media is going to expose these people? Because I'm with Jax on this one. Every social media based on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Mm -hmm. You need like a professional identification for you to be on these platforms. And you know one thing I have to say, Yamuk, yeah? Bro, like one thing like Jay's touched on about him, social media platform taking responsibilities and all that stuff, which he's right to say, because me at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Remember, you know how many times I've been blocked on Instagram for infringement, but I remember me being racially abused by someone and I reported it. Do you know what they said? Oh, not enough evidence. No, not sufficient evidence. I'm like, I just showed you the message. Not enough sufficient evidence. But if I put a, po a, a post on a, of a video with music or something like that, copyright infringement block. You're quick to act on that, but you can't You can't be quick to act on racism. You just keep telling us like, raw, not enough evidence. How much evidence do you need, bro? How, many ev how much evidence do you need? Jex, as I was saying earlier on, yeah? I was saying that regarding social media, yeah? I was saying that, Social um the social media platforms should be should be taking more responsibilities because they're so quick to block men for infringement and copyright. But when I report that I've been racially abused, oh not enough evidence, not enough sufficient evidence. But I just showed you the you message. Money talks, bro. Money talks. Can I ask a question, please? I mean, yeah, one quick thing, bro. <laughs> just to the fans watching, mm -hmm. maybe some of you saying, uh, we've seen them take the knee for many months now. Why are they still doing it? This is why. <laughs> this is why. This is exactly why we're doing it. Because it's never going to stop. So till the day stops, we'll, <coughs> then we stand up upright. The day it but stops, we'll just stop We're going to be on the knees. But can I just ask a question? Go through. Mm -hmm. If the government, the society itself, can sponsor police, the military, to do, like, for example, just the police themselves, which they do an excellent job for us. We respect what they do. But if they get all this equipment to stop these bad people, they can track um, um, rapists, they can track um, uh, people online. They can track they some of the crime five years ago. And yeah. Yeah, they, come on. They, they track crimes. They got this modern technology that they use. They got everything given to them. I still think they should use some of these technologies, some of these um, same approach to find these people. He are making us have a sleepless night. He are making us cooler kids, have to have a special conversation with them. We do not deserve to go through that. We do not deserve to go through that. Mm -mm. We don't have to tell kids what happened. Like, Lord knows. The reason why we're doing it, because like Jake said, it's still happening. The, the government can take care of this. Put resources in place for people that are actually breaking these laws. Punish these people. To you set example, to then never stops. Never, it's just gonna be, what, what have they done? What have been done since this been add, coming up? What gonna, have they done? I'm gonna add one more thing to it, bro. Go on. Imagine now. Issues with women. Women are pushing forward to become more equal in this life. They're pushing forward to become anything they want to be. How can we as men represent them? Surely it's going to be women that's going to come forward and argue that, right? Mm -hmm. And we will, as men will support them, right? Mm -hmm. sure. So why is it that when it comes to racism, it's the FA that's full of white males that are the ones to hand over the punishment? That makes zero sense. We should be involved. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like if we're involved in the punishment of such things, we will definitely see a reduction because definitely. It's, within our, it's hurting our hearts. We're going to take it so much more seriously. Definitely. I feel like the FA and these bodies are not taking it seriously. 
social De- media are not taking it seriously. If the government just came and up. said you're going to get a fine if you don't give us the names of these racist idiots, do you not think by next month Instagram will point your profile, upload snitching, your passport? Snitching on no, everyone. They'll tell you upload your passport because we need to know. <laughs> if you don't upload yeah. your passport within 30 days, your account is gone. I'm done. That, you know? Done. So again, I'm sorry to keep banging on about this, mm-hmm. but until the FA employ more black people within the FA, more black managers, Football needs to be a representation of our society. If it's not, then issues like this will continue. Yes, so it's a very beautiful situation, and I'm happy that well said. United came out. I'm happy that Rashford came out. I'm happy that he didn't screenshot that idiot's message because mm-hmm. we don't need to give any power or any light to those racist idiots. Mm-hmm. And we continue. You know, we're strong as a race. We're a strong race. We've been through so much. And we will continue to go for it regardless of what a very small percentage of idiots do. Because I feel the majority of United fans, they're all with us. We all want to live in a world that is equal, where we're judged on our merits, exactly. not on our appearance. Is you know? that too much to ask? Hmm? Is not, that too much? No. Let's move on straight, guys. Let us know exactly what you guys thought about the whole incident between Marshall and Tucson Bay and also Rashford, guys. And what your views on this is. Moving up to my favorite part of the show, of course, the Premier League weekend re- roundup, of course, the game of the week. You know, I'm going to throw yesterday's match in the, in that week as well. You know, you feel like that, you know, definitely with Chelsea winning with their new manager, Thomas Tuchel, you know, or yeah, as you put it, Tom, Thomas Tuchel, you know, if you're German, you know. <laughs> Uh, of course, Chelsea winning, City winning, Liverpool winning, with Spurs losing, of course, with Arsenal losing yesterday, you know? Hey, what a good week for Man United with Arsenal losing, but of course, the other ups didn't lose. Tottenham did lose. Other than that, it's been a decent week, good football, to, good football on the weekend, plenty of goals, guys, yeah. Game of the week, of course. Let's talk about that straight away. Done now. Obviously, Arsenal in it. My game of the week, Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal against yeah. Munch. You're a troll. I need to get wait, wait. I need to get myself into my Arsenal hat mode. You know, <laughs> <laughs> get get into my emotions as well. You know, because yesterday I was pissed off, fam. How I know? <laughs> I was about to swear, but how the hell can we have two men set off? We played with nine men yesterday. You know, trust me, we got moved to. You know, F the ref as well. Screw the referee, bro. How can you send off David Lewis for that, you know? David Lewis. And and Leno, I don't know what he was thinking. True say, your goalkeeper, your natural thought is to use your hands regardless, yeah? But still, you're outside the box, fam. You don't do that. You don't do that. And a wonderful goal by um, Moutinho. I'm not going to lie to you, you know? Whether I hate it or not, Moutinho, wonderful strike, you know? But we, Go, we, I think goal of the week. Should be goal of the week. Goal of the week, but no, 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 no. The goal of the week for me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Pepe, Pepe, what he did to man. He took two men's souls, two men's souls. But still, Arteta, that's what you said. Arteta two out, bro. Arteta out. I'm up, man. What about you, man? What was your game of the week, bro? My game of the week for Miss United, the nine, the nine, nine goal mm. gets no better than that. Like to see my team do that again. Come on, it's get that. Like, that's beautiful. And once again, big up to the club itself, the managers, and the players that have been putting in this work. I know they've had a little dead end last week, but they, they got back up. They got back up real big. Like big up to the club itself. Trust me, bro. And what about you, Jax, man? What was your game of the week, man? Bro, it pains me to say this, you know, because Lee's are cops. Mm. But, hey, Lee's are doing well, you know. And they gave it to Leicester, you know. 3-1. One nil down, and they uh, came back and packed in Leicester. And hey, Bamford... My namesake, Patrick Bamford. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nick, now you're baiting yourself. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I <laughs> baited you ready. Okay. You baited me like four times four minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, so I just right. said it. <laughs> I said it, but, I um, you ready. Trust me. Bamford, I rate him because he's come to the Premier League having been here before and played awful, 
He's doing his thing this season. Look, coming up from Chelsea striker. Academy. You know? yeah. yeah, he's done well. He scored against um, Leicester. I think it was a goal and two assists, or maybe two goals and one assist. I can't remember. I think a goal and one assist, but the the, the goal he scored. Woof. Woof. Top bins. These kids want opportunity. When I said Van der Beek needs opportunity, these kids, you give them opportunity, they're taking it. Uh, yeah, with Bamford, yeah, with Bamford, he's he's up there with the top goal scorers. Yeah, and he's, he's up there. He's not even in the top six. So I'm excited to see more of Leeds. I know they're a big ops for United. Mm-hmm. But I don't care. I want to see more attacking football. I want to see if Bamford can make it and compete with Vardy and Salah for the top uh, golden boot. Uh, Leeds are doing a lot this season. I'm very impressed with them, you know. Very impressed. And they're, they're gaffer. The men that squats better than women's, bro. All the men that are squatting <laughs> lower than young girls that can't even squat on your own dick for 20 minutes at least, bro. My men can do that for two hours, like. And you girls should be ashamed of yourself, you know. How can you let an old man show you up like that? But when you're riding, oh, two minutes. <sighs> <laughs> I can't, I can't take it. I need to come off. I need to come off. Like, bro, you only been on top for two minutes. <laughs> You're a bad guy, you know. <laughs> you, bad guy, you, you know. took that word from my mouth. You took the word, the exact nah, word from my mouth. Move. You fast. <laughs> I was just about to say you're a mad guy. <laughs> nah, it's true though. You know, hey. My man's been squatting for a good 90 minutes, man. And these women can't even ride for two minutes, fam, without complaining, fam. But guys, man, Arsenal's two rare cars, man. What have you got to say about that, man? Was it all? That's that's life, man. In life, sometimes you step in shit, innit? They've done it twice, you know? And they lost the game. It is what it is, man. You need to be well disciplined in the Premier League. Like I keep saying, in this day and age, you can't go in showing studs. You can't put your finger on someone's face. You can't be the last man and foul someone. You have to be on point because there's VAR, there's cameras everywhere, you know? And they got two red cards. Oh, well, that's life. You dropped three points. Nah, cool. Let's move it up, guys, into that preview, match preview. Match United versus Everton this weekend. Last time we played them, we did smoke them at their ground. Hopefully this weekend we will be smoking them again so they can catch this fade and get this L. I'm optimistic, of course, but with Manchester United, we could be playing ex- we could have played excellent yesterday. And then Sunday or, or Saturday, whichever day we play, play trash and make it difficult for us to even win the game. But apart from that, I'll, I'm going to say that I'm confident that we can get this win, you know. I'm up, man. What about you, man? But I guess Everton, man. How you feel? I gotta be optimistic. We go good. We go get the win. We go get the win. And it's just it's just me, and I part that a lot of time. And I hope Oli can do that. I want to see um, um Cavani start every single game if he's not injured or not sick. I want to see Cavani start every single game. What he brings to the team is excellent. And we definitely need to beat Everton if we was to compete for the title, which I believe Oli said something yesterday. Say we get taken opportunities, it's good. What it would what what that would do for us at the end of the season, like Jake said before May, goal difference. So it, it was good that we actually won by that margin yesterday. But I hope we can still get that win against Everton because they are looking a strong side. With very good quality players, it's not gonna go. It's not. It's it's never gonna be a walk in the park. Mm-hmm. It's gonna yeah. be hard for us. We need to take that. We need to get the W. That's I really like. I'm with Jags. All we need is the W. Amen to that. Definitely ain't gonna be no walk in the park like Gixing through Burgess Park, bro. It ain't gonna be that easy. No, no, no. It's gonna be a madness. What about you, Jags, man? How you feel about that game against Everton, man? I must said something last week, you know, maybe a couple of weeks back. Every game is a tough game in this Premier League, man. And it showed, because I'm happy we didn't speak about it. I'm sorry to mention it, but Sheffield United beat us 2-1 last, last week. True. You know? Yeah. So it's a tough game. I do expect the win only because we beat them already this season. But 
Every game in this Premier League is tough. All I would quickly like to add is that we need our best 11 starting for every single Premier League game. We lost against Sheffield United. That's it. No more. We need our best 11 starting every single game. I don't care about this UEFA Cup. We got knocked out of the Champions League. Let's focus on the league now. Best 11 every week. That's what I want to see. Three points. Let's pray and hope. Faggy, faggy style, yeah? Back to faggy style. There we Top go. Top 11. All week. All week. I don't I don't care. Cavani, every game. Like you said, Amok, every, every game. game that guy has to start, man. He gives us so many other Much. things to this game. He, options. He the drops, options he, he works, options. he pass, he assists, he does everything. Mm-hmm. If you remember, when we but the one it, thing about Cavani is that he probably scored one goal in every ten chances because he does miss so Yeah, no, so no, we did say that he misses but a lot of chances. Yeah, though, isn't it? yeah. Uh, what can you say? But <laughs> he's good. He is a better version of. Remember, I used to praise my Nigerian brother in Gallo. Mm-hmm. Just his movement in the box. To be honest with you, Cavani is a better version of Gallo. Just that movement in the box, the way they pass, the way they think. They got that old school mentality. You see, Matteo and Rashford, these are youngsters. They play with the modern generation type of football. They win backs. They can just run up on you. They know your proper number nines. But these got old school. They, they got that proper number nine mentality. Cavani needs to start every single game for Manchester United this season if he's not injured or sick because of the corona. Because we've got to give any player that got that corona thing going on needs to get it two weeks off. It needs to get medicated because this thing is getting worse. We really pray to God that helps us. We want to go back to, to the stadiums. Trust me. Uh, of course, man. Yes, guys, of course, we all think that we should get that W against Everton. It shouldn't be a tough ask, man. The boys can do it. Get that three points and keep head-to-head with um, Man City, of course. And We've got Liverpool that's probably a point behind us. Well, there was. Hopefully, they lose their game which they won't, they will definitely win and there will be one point behind us. City with a game in hand as well, so we, if we want to be in this title race or be in the conversation of a title race, we have to keep going and play our best game, and be our best team. Mm-hmm. Anyway. But guys, quickly, let's move it straight on to the game against West Ham as we ain't, we ain't got that much time left. FA Cup next week against West Ham at Old Trafford. Mm-hmm. Simple as, knock them out. No, Never no. as well as with West Ham, you know. I don't know why West Ham are yeah. always tricky for us, you know. I don't know. Like yeah. <laughs> but it's a top game. Again, top 11 will we'll move to them. But West Ham, tricky opponents. Cheeky. I like the word cheeky opponents. As always, man. But we should beat them now. It's, we're not them out. It's all traffic, man. So it's the FA Cup. We'll go through. Oh, we need that FA Cup. Only needs to win something, isn't it? So Definitely. That should be it, no? Definitely all the Europa League, man. Me, I still want, I prefer to win in Europe than domestic. But anyway, Jax, you, you want to focus on the league, so do I. But I also want the team to win the Euro, Europa League. Not at the test. Yeah, if I was to choose, we want to win everything. Yeah, I want to win everything that we're in. I don't have time to focus on one competition. If I was to choose one, thing, Oli, I would say the league. You can't guarantee us something. Like, Oli can't guarantee it, us everything. Concentrate on the if league. Thank you. Mm. I was just going to say this. You one got better. You got no, better the, option. The priority is the league. On food, mm-hmm. on, the t- on the league. The priority is the yeah. league, of course. We won Europa. But like trophies as well. Nah, we but I want to win it every ago. year if we're in it, bro. We won the Cup two years ago. Mm-hmm. We have them on the Premier League for seven years. It's yes, the, I, I get that. I get so that. Focus on the league. I will concentrate on the league. But focus on the league, but we are Manchester United. We don't just focus on every... We, we want to win every competition that we're in. Even if we're going for a swimming class, we want to win that, bro. We don't care, we, but we're Manchester United. That's why, that's why we got to improve our management team. Oli haven't shown us that he's capable enough to compete for all his titles. That's the dance about Oli. So if you know you're going to take one or two um, competition with like all your, your might to your team, Go for the Europa and the champ the Premier League. Because for me, the FA Cup, I don't mind winning the FA Cup, but I still do the Europa and the Premier I League. Everything. I want to win everything. everything. And I want to win everything. Win everything. But... However, quickly, mm-hmm. for me, Premier League, best 11 starts. If we've got yeah. Europa on Thursday and then we've got a game on Sunday, for mm-hmm. me, priority, 
Sunday, I want my best eleven to start in the Premier League. So I need to cater. I need to look at this game and see how I can manoeuvre my way around it so that my best eleven can start. Because for me, the Premier League, every game is tricky. Sheffield United just beat us 2-1. <laughs> do you remember, do you remember Mourinho's first season? When we when he found that we don't have no chance of going Champions League, what did he do? Focus on Bring Europa. Europa. Yeah. But anyway, man, let's just hope we knock this scum bags, hammers out, bruv, next week. Definitely. You know, straight win for all of us, guys. Guys, let me know exactly what you the match, your prediction as well. It, write it down in the comments below. And of course, we have come to the end of the show. It's been a long one today, you know, but I hope you oh, guys, no. I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know, because I've enjoyed this chat today. We've all have, you know. And of yeah. course, guys, we go to the guys, let's plug them in where you can find them on the socials, you know. We start off with Amuk. Amuk, where can the people find you? Instagram, pretty flacco underscore 16. And Jess, what about you, bro? Where can the people find you? You can find me at 9 nil. No, I'm joking. Yeah, no. uh, Jeg <laughs> underscore United. <laughs> and of course, guys, you know where you can find me on this channel. You can also find these guys on this channel. You know, follow my this my official Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore spice. And of course, the official Instagram account to this channel, which is Red United TV One, baby. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. Remember sharing Ivor and Spice's channels, caring, you know, sharing. I froze for a hot second. This is staying. This is staying. Yes, remember to share. Remember to share, guys. Remember to share. Remember to share. As cause, remember to share to your friends, people you like, people you don't like, and remember, girls, as always, you know, when you want to piss off your ex girlfriend, even your current boyfriend. Share it to him so it can be like, who's that as well? Someone that probably could do a better than you, you know what I mean, isn't it? As always, guys, it's been wonderful. Of course, keep it united, you know. And as always, remember to keep it red united. We are out, guys. Get me peace and love as always. You're done now. Boom. <laughs>